Starting a business. The best reason to consider starting a business is for economic security. Economic security provides you with the resources to support a standard of living now and in the foreseeable future. Here are seven steps that are required for starting a business successfully. Take one step at a time, and you'll be on your way to successful small business ownership. Step 1. Find an idea. The reality is, in business, if you want to have the best chance of succeeding, rather than coming up with a great idea that nobody has come up with yet and hoping there is a market for it, instead find out what people are already buying and create a service or product that fills that existing need. Step 2. Set up your business. Choose your business name. Your business name plays a role in almost every aspect of your business, so you want it to be a good one. Once you have chosen a name for your business, you will need to determine if it's trademarked or currently in use. Then, you will need to register it. Select your corporate structure. Your small business can be a sole proprietorship, a partnership, a limited liability company or a corporation. The business entity you choose will impact many factors from your business name, to your liability, to how you file your taxes. Incorporate your business online. Once you have determined which corporate structure is best you may be able to incorporate online. You should search your Secretary of State site for information on where and how to file online. Step 3. Set up your financials. Put together a spreadsheet that estimates the one-time startup costs for your business licenses and permits, equipment, legal fees, insurance, branding, market research, inventory, trademarking, grand opening events, property leases, as well as what you anticipate you will need to keep your business running for at least 12 months rent, utilities, marketing, and advertising, production, supplies, travel expenses, employee salaries, your salary. Those numbers combined are the initial investment you will need. Obtain Federal Employer Identification Number An employer identification number is used to identify a business entity. You may apply for an employer identification number online on the Internal Revenue Service website. You must check with your state to find out if you may need a state number or charter. Open Company Bank Account Shop around for the best deal. Also, some offer free checking and business checking cards. Select an online payment platform. Here are a few popular options, PayPal, Square or Stripe. Step 4 Business Setup Obtain licenses and permits. There are a variety of small business licenses and permits that may apply to your situation, depending on the type of business you are starting and where you are located. Visit https colon slash slash www.sba.gov slash starting business slash business licenses permits slash state licenses permits. Set up the accounting and record keeping system. Your accounting system is necessary to create and manage your budget, set your rates and prices, network with other businesses, and file your taxes. You can set up your accounting system yourself or hire an accountant. Find a mentor. A mentor can help to shorten your learning curve, open your mind to new ideas and possibilities, identify opportunities and advise on how to promote yourself. Determine who your competition perform internet search research, contact Secretary of State, Library, Local Chamber of Commerce Industry Association and Rotary. Make a business plan. A business plan is a blueprint that will guide your business from the startup phase through establishment and eventually business growth, and it is a must-have for all new businesses. Step 5 Marketing Setup The marketing plan gives you a systematic approach to developing your marketing strategies. The marketing plan includes, understanding your business, customers, and competition. You'll want to start with the basics by writing a unique selling proposition. Develop website and marketing materials. Today a business will not be considered legitimate if it does not have a quality website. Here are some resources we have used to start up our websites and to get quality professional marketing materials like logos, business cards, brochures and price lists, etc. Fiverr at https colon slash slash www.fiverr.com Freelancer at https colon slash slash www.frelancer.com slash Establish business relations, join the Chamber of Commerce Industry Organization or Association Rotary Club and any other organization where you can develop a relationship. Step 6 Operations Setup Draft an Employee Handbook The most important aspect of your employee handbook is the introduction of new employees to your corporate culture and how they will fit in. 
This helps to foster a sense of pride and belonging, which studies show will help employees become more productive in a shorter period. Draft Employee Standard Operations Procedures As a small business, following standardized operating procedures can save you time, allow you, and your team, to be more productive, eliminate a lot of errors, and improve compliance with industry guidelines. Draft Customer Service Manual a comprehensive manual addresses common customer concerns and internal policies that cover how you want your employees to handle issues related to product returns, complaints and service issues. Step 7 Opening the doors Purchase furniture, appliances, and other equipment as needed. Setting up your place of business is important for the operation of your business, whether you will have a home office, a shared or private office space, or a retail location. You will need to think about your location, equipment, and overall setup, and make sure your business location works for the type of business you will be doing. You will also need to consider if it makes more sense to buy or lease a commercial space. Train staff. If you will be hiring employees, now is the time to start the process. Make sure you take the time to outline the positions you need to fill, and the job responsibilities that are part of each position. The Small Business Administration has an excellent guide to hiring your first employee that is useful for new small business owners. Lastly, if you are a true solopreneur hitting the small business road alone, you may not need employees or contractors, but you will still need your support team. This team can be comprised of a mentor, small business coach, or even your family, and serves as your go-to resource for advice, motivation, and reassurance when the road gets bumpy. The good news is that Right Step has already gone through these steps and has developed products to assist you. Visit https colon slash slash rightstepstartup.com slash index.php slash shop.